Hello everyone, happy to see you here and in this video we are going to solve this really interesting exponential equation. We have x squared equal to a to the x and we need to find our x from this interesting exponential equation. How can we do this? I want to show you a really interesting approach. Of course we start with natural log because we have powers right here, we have variables right here, so it's really great to start with natural log. Let's do this like that right here on the left hand side, so let's start with this. So we have natural log of x squared equal to natural log of 8 to the power x. Okay, we just take natural log on both sides, nothing changed for us, we just take natural log. And right now we need to know a really interesting and really important property, this 2 jump right here and this 8 jump right here in the beginning, so we have like 2 natural log x equal to x natural log 8. So if you look closely to this expression right now, we can easily see that this is a constant, this is like a variable that we need to find, this is a variable, this is a constant. So let's let's try to group our constant on the on the right hand side, for example, and our variables on the left hand side. For this, let's divide both sides by x, start with x, yeah, let's divide by x. If you divide by x, this x cancel with this one, so we still have like 2 natural log x divided by x on the left hand side and on the right hand side we still have only natural log 8, yeah, natural log 8. Okay, so I hope you understand this step, really important and really interesting step. Right now we have to write here, we don't need this because we need to group constant on the right hand side, so let's divide both sides by 2. If we divide by 2 we have like natural log x over x equal to natural log 8 over 2. Yeah, so I hope you understand this step, we just cancel these two from here, which is really important for us. Right now, if you look closely to this expression, it's really hard to find this x on the first side, because this x is a variable in natural log and fx in our denominator, which is really hard like to find x, like, like a cross multiplying or something like that. We need to know about Lambert w function, because this is a really great example to use this Lambert w function right here. And a lot of students ha have discussion about Lambert w function, they find uh, this function hard, I want to show you how can we solve it correctly. How can you understand this Lambert w function. For example, imagine if you have like expression like a times e to the power a. For example, imagine you have this expression. So we have e and we have the same a variable, same expression in a power and same expression in a product right here. So a times e to the power a. And if we take, if we apply Lambert w function from this expression, this is equal to only our a. So this is really great rule and really great uh, function right here. Because if we have expression like that, if we apply Lambert w function from this expression, we have only our a which is really great. And let's look to this expression right here. Let's try to create this e, let's try to create the same a and same a right here. For this question, let's try to look closely at this natural log x over x. Let's write this natural log x as the same as right here, and this x let's write as e to the power natural log x, okay? e to the power natural log x equal to natural log 8 over over 2. Okay, okay, so we just we just create e, but we need to create same a and same a right here. So let's try to simplify this or let's try to express this uh, expression in another way. For this, let's bring this e from our denominator to numerator. And for this, we need to put minus right here. So we have natural log x times e to the power not natural log x but minus natural log x, yes, equal to natural log 8 over over 2. Okay, so I hope you understand this step. We just bring this to our numerator. And right now, let's look closely to this expression. We have e, we have e right here. We have a, we have a right here, but this is minus a. So it looks like completely the same, but with the minus sign. For this question, let's multiply by minus one. Okay, if we multiply both sides by minus one, we will have really interesting expression. We will have minus natural log x times e to the power minus natural log x equal to minus natural log 8 over 2, yeah? And, and look closely, I take my red pen real quick for this. Take a look, we have expression right here and the same expression right here. We have our e right here and we have our e right here. So this is a really interesting moment because we can easily apply Lambert w function, yeah? If we apply Lambert w function from this expression, I take my black pen real quick. So we have minus natural log x times e to the power minus natural log x equal to Lambert W function, we need to apply it on both sides, Lambert W function of 
of minus natural log 8 over over 2. Okay? Okay. Right now, let's look closely to this expression right here. Because this lambert w function give us only a. And in our, in our case, a equal to minus natural log x. So we have like minus natural log x equal to lambert w function in this point minus natural log 8 over over 2. So as you can see, we simplify it a lot because right now we have natural log, we have only our x and we have a constant on the right hand side because this is a constant, yeah? Okay, how can we simplify this? Let's write this minus natural log x as e to the power natural log x to the power minus 1. Yeah, let's write it in this way. Equal to e to the power Lambert W function in this point minus natural log 8 over over 2. Okay, we just take e on both sides. And right now, if you know about natural log a little bit, this natural log and this e we can easily cancel. And as a result, we have like only our x to the power minus 1. So we have like x to the power minus 1 equal to equal to e to the power Lambert W function in this point minus natural log 8 over over 2. Okay, so this is our x to the power minus 1, but we need to find our x. How can we do this? Let's try to bring this to our denominator. So we'll have our answer x equal to 1 over e to the power Lambert W function in this point minus natural log 8 over over 2. And this is our answer. Of course, I write, I will write right here at the exact value of this x because I find it for you in exact value of this Lambert W function and I uh, calculate it in my telephone this uh, this expression so we can easily say that our x approximately equal to minus 0 0.559559 this is our approximation right here and I'm going to write really interesting explanation we we will see how our graph looks like because we have one solution right here and of course we need to know that Lambert W function have indexes right here so one solution right here maybe we will have like three indexes with Lambert W function so we'll have like three solutions right here but in our case we have one and only solution and this is really interesting because we can easily draw a graph right here so we can easily draw a graph right here and we know that on the left hand side we have like i read this question we have x square equal to 8 to the x x square this is our parabola we know it this is a classic function and 8 to the x this is exponential function so Im let's imagine that this is looks like that so we'll have only one solution so in positive in positive part these lines does not intersect, but in negative part we will have only our one solution, minus 0 0.559. Right here this line does not intersect. So one and only solution, we, we found it right here. Okay, let's try to spend one minute, let's try to, to, to look at it once more. So our question nature of log on both sides let's try to group variables on the left hand side constant on the right hand side we have it right here the next step we need to know about lambert w function and i exp i try to explain it in simply words so if we have expression like that if we take natural uh, lambert w function this is equal to only our a which is really great because after all steps right here we can easily write that this expression on the left equal to minus natural log x if we're talking about lambert w function if we apply Lambert W function right here. And next step right here, find an exact value of our x and using calculator, using Lambert W function library, you can easily find our x, which is equal approximately equal to minus 0 0.559. Really interesting question. I hope you understand this explanation. If you still have any question, write your question in the comment. And also I want to say thank you for your support, for your likes, for your for, that you watch uh, watch my videos. I really appreciate it and I wish you wish you all the best as well. So, thank you so much for watching. I hope you understand this this uh, algebra question, which is which is really great, I guess. On the first side, this is this is a very easy question, but as you can see, Lambert W function, natural log exponents e right here so a lot of a lot of really interesting and important math step and i hope you know about this step about natural log lambert w function e and of 
course, right here, what we need to know about maybe, maybe, yeah, nature log, number w function, and we have e right here. So we need to know about log property. Thank you for your time and have a great day.